Okay, this is a Dell XPS 1, and it says 2710 up there. Up on that, uh, up there, and uh, service tags and all that. Alright, so uh, we're going to go in here and change out the hard drive, and I'm going to show you some other stuff on, on the inside. And uh, it's a huge computer, uh, Windows 8. Okay, uh, Windows 8 Pro is uh, installed on this. Uh, two, a two gig hard drive. So uh, enjoy the video. Watch the whole thing before you do it yourself. Hey everybody. Um, okay, this is how you take the back off. There's uh, little screws right here. This is hard to see and I'm trying my best to get, get you in there. I don't know how focused it's going to be. It's right here. Alright, it takes a long time to get this out. It comes out like this and you think that's it because that, it moves around and it's not. I had to change my light out because my headlamp gave out. So what I'm going to use is a pair of needle nose right here. Be careful you don't damage the, the computer with these. But I'm pulling toward me while I'm doing this. So I'm not put, I'm not uh, I'm not cranking down on the screw. I'm just on both sides of that head pulling toward me. So you got to put some pressure on the screwdriver and just back the thing out. It does take time to do. All right, I took it on the other side. And it does take time. There we go. We got it out. Look how long that thing is. So don't lose these. There's one on each side that you got to take out. All right, so what I'm doing is a thumb on each side, and I'm pushing this way. Okay, and it did, it did come up. All right, there it is. So now this comes up. You got to pull it. Make sure you, there's nothing underneath. You pull this guy, and I'm in. And what I'm looking for is, uh, is the hard drive. And it says right here where the hard drive is. There's instructions here. It says hard drive one, and is uh, pointing right here. All right. So um, there's actually uh, I'm going to try and get that in the camera for you. And it's right there. It says where it is. Okay. Now there's six of these uh, black screws. That's all the way around. The big black screws. Don't take any of these guys off. You don't need to. You take uh, you take these off. Set them aside in a safe place. There's a clip right here. You're going to lift the leg up, the back leg here, forward and up, and take out that clip. And right there is the hard drive. Remember, it's upside down. That's the only way we're going to get the cables in. So now we got to get the hard drive out. It shouldn't be hard to do. I mean, um, it should just uh, slide out or pop out. I'm going to lift it up. There's a hand here, and just lift it up. And uh, and then uh, there's a hand here, and just straight straight out. And move it aside. I'm doing all this with one hand, so that, so eventually the the cable will come off. All right, but I'll probably need two hands for that. Okay, but that's how easy. The little, little handle right here to do it. All right, it looks like a a screw on each side to take it off. This side uh, has a screw on each side to take it off. Take out the hard drive. Now something to remember is uh, these guys right here. These are bumpers, and uh, they were in like this. And this piece right here. This uh, looks like a cardboard or a padding of some sort is on top and it sits like this for when this cover comes down it's hitting this padding okay you gotta remember that this is uh, the connector is upside down connector is this way and this has to go back on that side when you put it back together now something I'm doing is uh, remember this is going toward the connector so on this side you put this handle back on alright I have the uh, um, the screws are going to go in here you grab the two without the cardboard all right, and you're gonna go go ahead and put these back on. Uh, you can finger tighten them first. All right, do not touch that circuit board. Uh, static electricity will uh, will damage it. All right, uh, they're pretty well guarded now. And go ahead and screw this guy down. All right, um, not too tight. You don't need to really muscle these guys down. All right, you don't want to smash the uh, the rubber uh, the rubber things uh, that gives it a little cushion. All right, this side. You're going to put this guy on. All right, I'm still not touching the circuit board. Okay, um, you're going to put this this guy on. When this is done being screwed in, you need to bring the 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 uh, copper to the top. All right, that's finger tight there. Do the same to this side, finger tight here. All right. And then tighten this guy down, but not too tight. And you can move that guy around. Just move this guy up. 
All right, this guy's ready to go back in. Now putting it back in, you're grabbing the handles. You're grabbing this and slide this back in, push it in back and forth until it seats. All right, and just uh, make sure that the, the, copper, uh, the cardboard is up and go ahead and push it all the way down. It should sit all the way down, nice and snug. The, the, this is back on top. This is just too easy to do. Too easy to do. All right, take this guy, remember that lip? It has to sit down right in there. And you put all your screws back in. This, guys, this is just too easy to do. Um, I, I can't believe that uh, some shops charge so much. Uh, I'm only charging $100 because of my labor. It's going to take hours to reload this thing, transfer the data back on and all that. So uh, I didn't even charge, you know, she brought the hard drive in. All right, so uh, there's guys, there's people that charge an astronomical amount, uh, enough to actually, uh, you know, buy a new computer. So I'm not going to show you putting the screws back in. I'm going to get this back down. I'm going to put the cover back on and show you how to do that. Now, once you get the back off, right here's the RAM. I unscrewed that, put my finger on it so I don't lose it. It may come out. There is a retainer in there, but that's where your RAM is. Okay, so I uh, put that back on and screw this guy back down. I know I'm in the way a little bit. Find the hole, screw it back down. All right, um, I have other videos that show you how to actually put, remove the RAM, you pop it out, and all that. Now, to take this plate off to get to the CPU fan, all right, there's, uh, I'm counting in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a total of eight screws that go all the way around. I already removed them, and believe me, you don't want to drop them because uh, once they go down inside, they're a pain to get out. All right, so um, just uh, pull it up around, work it off. All right, there is a, a piece of metal that catches right on the bottom here. All right, and lift it up, and there's your CPU fan. Just clean it off, blow it off. Uh, that, that's one of the fans, and then there's your CPU. There's another fan up here. Uh, you clean that off, and there's another fan down on my left, um, down over here. You know, clean all the fans while you're in there. So um, don't think you have to take this thing off to get to the hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in, put this back together. When you're putting these screws in, take an alligator uh, clip like this. Grab a hold of the screw and screw it down. Get it inside the hole because if you let go and it gets down inside the edges, it's going to be a pain to get it out and you have to take this whole thing apart. So be careful when you're putting this plate back down. I figure while I'm in here, let me show you. Um, over here is your CD-ROM drive. Okay, it uh, spans from right about here to down here. This is going to be one that you're going to have to order from Dell. This is a Dell, so order your parts from Dell. Okay, um, that's, uh, I'm not taking that out, but it's a one, two, three, four connector. Easy as pie. Okay, this is a big, very light plastic thing. Down up here is very flimsy, so be careful. Wrap it around the stand, and of course I can't show you the top. I'm setting it down on top. All right, we gotta get this part underneath the stand. So, so I'm working it down. Okay, these two things have to be on each side of this, uh, this piece of plastic here. So we have to work it down and be gentle with it. Don't be forceful. You might have to lift up on both sides because, uh, and keep this uh, floating. All right, we're going to get down just about uh, to the bottom, and then we have to start locking it down. You're going to hear clicking all over the place. You have to work it down. Don't leave any part up. All right, and slide that down. That should be nice and snug. No play, no lift, everything's locked into place. Now all I have to do is put my two screws, just go in reverse, it should be a lot easier to do putting this back in, putting these screws back in. Okay, you can see right there, it's all the way back in. Um, they did take a little time lining up because the threads go through the plastic. <laughs> okay, they have to actually screw into the plastic, then the piece inside. There should be no play whatsoever around the top. And that is how you change out a hard drive. Okay, and I uh, hope you, in this computer, and I uh, hope you like it and it helps you out. Let me know if there's anything else uh, you would like me to do on, uh, on computers. And maybe uh, when I come across them, I can do them. Take care, subscribe now. Bye. Thanks for watching the video, and be sure to click subscribe to subscribe to see more videos like this.